This is the Roland SPD-SX Pro Sampling Pad. And in my opinion, every music producer with some sort of drumming background and sampling background, a music director for an artist, or a drummer should have this in your workflow. And here's why. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats, and what a beautiful guest we have on the channel today from Roland, the SPD-SX Pro Sampling Pad. And as you guys can see in the intro, it's a very useful tool not only for drummers on stage, but music producers, um, music directors. This tool can really be helpful in your creative workflow and your live workflow. It works for practically any genre. And if you are a music producer with a percussion background such as myself, or you're a sampling producer, this can really work out for you. The pads feel really good and really responsive to velocity, and it's very easy to program and switch up sounds. For example, one of my favorite features about this, if I wanted to change up the sounds, the only thing I have to do is literally go to the menu here, and when I go to the menu, scroll down to the pad, add it right here, and I hit enter, and once I hit enter, you see the layer A and layer B. I could easily select the pad by hitting it with my sticks, and then scrolling down the menu and changing each one of the pads. And with the value knob here, you can actually make selections and scroll through all of the presets. And as you can see, the color, the LED does change and it's themed out. Um, as I move through the value of each one of the presets that's on board. First, let's go over the build and the anatomy of it. And then after we do that, we're gonna go into some key features. And a huge thank you to Sweetwater Sound for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know, Sweetwater Sound is the largest music retailer in the United States with over 40,000 pieces of gear to choose from. So if you're a music producer, singer, songwriter, um, engineer, they have something for you on there. Also, if you're a content creator, Sweetwater has a lot of content creator gear such as cameras, lights, and all of that as well so be sure to check out Sweetwater Sound below and if you're interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio such as the Roland right here hey please check the description below I have everything listed down there also other gear that could possibly help you on your creative journey don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video thank you so here she is in all of her glory as you can see you actually have nine pads here I just love the layout of these the smaller ones up top I put my samples up there because it's kind of out of the way and the pads that I mainly use are the six that you guys see here and all of the pads that you see on here when you strike them with your stick they are responsive and the LED lights up and of course you have your master knob here this adjusts the volume and signal from the master jack out so basically your main outs and the headphones you can adjust the signal from the headphones I really appreciate where they put the knobs at because I can easily reach to it and adjust my levels my master and my headphones the click knob adjusts the volume of the click sound so if you hit this start button next to it that will give you your metronome each one of the preset sounds in here have their own tempo so you can actually adjust the volume of the metronome to click to each one of the different presets or whatever you create in here and of course you have your master effect knob this changes the effects the master effects and the master effects off and on button here works with the master effect knob as far as with the levels this is how you turn it on this is how you turn it off and then your pad edit of course you can edit various parameters with this and then you can select the button which you guys saw that I use when it came to go through the menu it selects and then you can exit out it's really simple it's, it's so easy to operate and if you are playing one of the presets or one of your samples and you hit the stick and it's just ongoing this button that says all sound off stops everything and also the menu is exactly what it is is the menu and then the shift button of course by holding the shift button you can then press another button and the function of the button changes so you can actually change the functions of the buttons with the shift button and let's talk about the ins and the outs here you have definitely your power section here the dc jack your power switch you have your midi connectors next to that and you have your foot switch also you have your hi-hat control right here and the expressive pedals and then below that you guys can see you have your audio jack then you guys see here you have your audio jack with the line and then also you have your direct out jacks and then your master out jacks and then your headphone jack. Very easy, very simple system here. And this is jam packed with 200 kit patches already. And you have 1500 plus sounds. And these aren't like the classic general MIDI cheap sounds. They're really high quality sound as you guys can hear throughout this entire video and the intro. I noticed in the dark, as you guys can see here, the lights are really visible in the dark. And you have 32 gigabytes of internal memory here so which is more than enough memory unless you are a huge sampler with a whole crate and you want to put it in here hey go for it 
because you have a memory USB slot right here at the back. And another cool thing I like about this is that the connectors on it, I like that they are all quarter inch for the most part when it comes to audio. And the eight external outs right here, as we discussed earlier, these can actually host four stereo triggers or eight mono triggers, which make drumming and producing headache free. The SPD SX makes me feel like being a musician in my production workflow. I'm sure all of you out there can appreciate that. So my final thoughts, I think if you are a music producer, a percussionist, a drummer, music director, this is definitely for you and can fit in your workflow. And I'm just gonna be honest with you. Sometimes I really do prefer actually drumming over the programming process with the keys. So to fill the pads, is, is, is really inspiring sometimes. I can translate my creativity into the music that I wanna create, if that makes sense. Um, give me a thumbs up if that makes sense to you. And I just have a lot of fun with this thing. So if you are a producer, like I said, a music producer, a drummer, a music director, um, any of sort, um, you wanna get into drumming and you are a producer already, this will be a great option. And the preset sounds and the trap sounds, the EDM, the R&B, everything sounds good in here. You can actually put your own samples in here as well so if you have any questions about this beautiful baby here please comment them below i'll be happy to answer them i am i've been working with this rascal for about a month now and i'm having the time of my life with my drum set and in my production workflow so ask away don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video also don't forget to be great and create this is your bar to beats and i am signing off